Hey Primary 3 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery. So how was the question yesterday? It was pretty easy. Pretty what? Pretty easy. And let's take a look at yesterday's question. Yesterday's question was, Mark had a sum of money. He spent 3 8 of it and saved the rest. Hey, where did my question go? <laughs> what fraction of the money did he save? Very easy. Let's imagine Mark, okay? I'm going to use a black marker here. Let's imagine Mark, yes. He looks a bit like Akasha, our friend. <laughs> okay. And this is Mark. Woo! Hello, Mark. Everyone say hello to Mark. Hello, Mark. Okay, so this is Mark. Okay. He had some of he had some money. He had a sum of money, right? And he spent three eight of it. Oh, what does that mean? Three eight. Three over eight. So as we have learned yesterday. This number below is the number of what? Number of total parts. And this is the number that he actually saved. Oh, by the way, your answer should be, uh, if you've done the question, your answer should be 5 over 8. Did you get it right? If you got it right, give yourself a, give yourself a high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Now, back to the question. Alright, since we have 8 parts, so all you have to do is draw a model. Okay. for you to imagine this yeah this is the number of parts okay you have to draw how many lines seven one two three four five six oops six and seven parts now in this question it says that he spent three of the parts so let's do it one two Three. And how many parts did he save? He saved the rest. The rest. Let's use the color black. Okay. So how many parts? Let's count me. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, so the total number of parts that he saved was five. And five out of what? Five over what? Five over eight. Good job. You are a math prodigy. Now, in order for you to do this, question in the mark, in the, what's that called? When you're working, all you have to do is 1 minus 3 over 8. Which also equals to what over 8? 1 equals to what over 8? I know you know this. Total number of parts is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you must write 8 here. Minus 3 over 8. And if you remember, for fractions, we always keep the number below and we just minus the one on top. So 8 minus 3 equals to... I know you know this, 5, good job! 8 minus 3 equals to 5, and so the answer is 5 over 8. Ah, very easy. Good job, you got this right, alright? Now we're going to move on to the next question for the day. This is very simple, you got it right? If you didn't get it, you can always pause it, watch it again, and come back to it later, okay? And today's question for the day is somewhat similar. 3 tenths of a bunch of flowers are roses, and the rest are carnations. What are roses and carnations? They are the type of flowers. So roses are the one that actually looks a little bit like this. Oops. It looks a bit like this. Okay, I don't know where I can draw it properly, but um Ooh, flowers. Yeah. So this is a this is a rose, it's red in color. And then you have carnation which is white in color, but you can't see it here. So I'm gonna draw it in yellow. So these are the two type of these are the two types of uh, flowers. Okay, one is rose, one is carnation. Okay, and the question is, three ten of the of this are roses, and the rest are carnations. No, they want to find out what fraction of the flowers are carnations. Very easy. All right, you guys should get this right, on within like one minute. Okay, so this is the question for the day, and remember the the quote of the week is is victory loves preparation. The more you prepare the easier it gets for you to attain victory or a win, all right? So with that, I'm going to sign off right now. You are a math prodigy.